And for more on this, we're now being joined by Mithali Nikor, who is an economist and founder of Nikor Associates. Mithali, good morning. Thank you so much for joining us. Now, Mithali, what's your take on the surge in demand for IPOs in India this year? Uh, Mithali, I believe there's a problem. Could you please unmute your... Yeah, hi, good morning. So okay. I was saying that, you know, we should look at, can you hear me now? Yes, I can hear you. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. So I was saying that we should look at the linkage between the macroeconomic trends and the trends that we are seeing in the equity and debt markets, especially the equity markets, because the cues that are coming from the growing macroeconomic uh, you know, data and from the growth that India is showing despite global trends, the fact that it's outperforming its peers in terms of GDP growth, the fact that it's outperforming its peers in terms of inflation management, both of these very key indicators are actually driving the growth for equity and they're driving the growth for you know equity demand the kind of equity demand that we're seeing because of the macroeconomic trend because it is understood that the indian consumer is much more resilient the indian consumer is is looking for a varied basket of goods and services and therefore the high demand for indian driven indian uh, you know owned ipos in that sense all right. Now, with bigger initial share sales in India on the horizon, what's your outlook? No, I do think that a lot more companies can now start looking at stock markets and start looking at, uh, you know, this equity model of raising finance for their companies. Still now, what we have seen is larger and larger companies are coming and you know putting out ipos family owned businesses coming and putting out ipos but i do feel that in the next 10 years or so we'll start to see even mid-sized companies come in and have the confidence to actually list on relevant indices you know not necessarily on a bse but on a mid-cap kind of nifty index and say you know can we raise some financing on the equity markets because that is globally one of the best ways for middle medium companies to also raise funding and it won't just be limited to the large companies i do expect medium companies uh, in india to start raising financing on equity markets and i also don't expect this to be limited to you know very traditional sectors like tech i mean tech and finance are two sectors which raise much more financing on equity markets but in the future, as the equity markets deepen, we'll start to see companies from more and more traditional sectors come and, you know, raise financing. All right. Well, Mitali, thank you so much for joining us on World Business Watch with your insights on this. Always a pleasure to have you. Thank you. For latest news, download the Veon app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.